Hey everyone, my name is Jace, aka Gemballs, and I'm a solo game developer and content creator living in Sweden, working on my my little my little dream game. Just a little, I don't know how that's gonna work out. We'll 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 see. Oh boy! And I just wanted to make this super 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 quick video here today, um, because there was a person who wrote a comment on my C Sharp VS Code and Godot video that I released a few weeks back. Um, a username Molback saying a few sentences about what is Godot would have been nice. As someone who subbed because I know you from Satisfactory, this was a bit confusing, and I completely agree. This was something I completely overlooked. Looked. Uh, for those of you who don't know, most of the people that are here do, but most of the people who know me know me because of my work that I did as a community manager and programmer for the game Satisfactory for the company Coffee Stain Studios. So not everyone here as a game developer and knows what, what Godot is or what a game engine is or whatever. So I figured what I would quickly do is I would respond to that. But also I've been getting a bunch of questions from people saying, uh, what engine will I be using? What programming language will I be using? Why am I choosing the engine that I'm choosing? And so I figured I'll just lump that all together really quickly. I'm just going to give a quick overview, uh, lump all that together today just to answer those questions. So the first thing is, what is Godot? And Godot is just a general purpose game engine similar to, you know, Unity or Unreal Engine. You've probably heard of those before. And if you don't really know what a game engine actually is, at its basic, basic level, it's just a suite of tools that allow you to make a game. Big surprise. But like these tools can just be something that renders 3D or 2D or both, uh, that takes input, that plays sound, um, and can run some game logic. And with just that, you can technically make a game. Now, of course, these other engines, these general purpose ones like Unity, Godot, and Unreal Engine have a lot of extra bells and whistles to give developers more, more powerful tools to create bigger, better content, things that are like more optimized, whatever. And they can take advantage of certain technologies, right? There's a lot that can go into a game engine. And the reason there are so many different kinds is because there's not really one way to make a game engine. There's many different ways to do it. Um, and these engines provide different ways to do those kind of things. Now, Godot is actually a uh, free and open source game engine, completely free, completely open source. Uh, and it's one that I haven't used before. So one of the, the most attractive things to me to use Godot is one that I like using new tools, right? I've used Unity before quite, quite a bunch. I haven't used it for the past few years, but I, I have used it quite a lot before um, and it was quite, quite good. Uh, I've obviously used Unreal Engine for you know the past nine years at Coffee Stain, um, and that is also an incredibly, incredibly capable and powerful engine. Um, and I just haven't used Godot before, so I was curious and I wanted to try it out. The most important thing when deciding what engine to to, to use is whether or not it can make your game. Uh, the game that I want to make is not technologically advanced. We, I won't be revolutionizing much of anything. It's just going to be this little game that I want to make. And so pretty much any tool would suffice, I think, to make my game. And uh, not that Godot is only just capable to make games like that, but it is for sure capable enough to make my game, as is Unity and as is Unreal Engine. Now, I would say that Unreal Engine is too big of an engine for my game. My game is far too simple for me to require everything that uh, Unreal Engine comes with. Unreal Engine is pretty big, pretty beefy. Uh, pretty heavyweight, and I don't really want to work with something that big anymore. Also, like I said before, I've used it a bunch over the past nine years. So I wanted something new. I wanted something lightweight. Uh, I love the fact that Godot is completely free. I never have to worry about monthly uh, payments, which is the case with Unity when you earn a certain amount, or maybe maybe certain features are hidden behind paywall. I might be wrong, but I do know for sure if you earn a certain amount, you must pay uh, a certain license per month. And then if you earn another amount, then you have to you know pay another license uh, per month. Um, and the way that Unreal Engine works is that it's after you earn a certain amount, you pay a revenue share. But with Godot, I don't have to worry about any of that. It's completely free. The other cool thing about Godot is that the engine source is freely available. So I can always browse the en engine source. I can, if I really, really need to modify the engine itself, uh, I can actually download the engine source code, modify it, recompile it, and then I'll have my own version of the Godot engine. I can do that if I wish. So far, I haven't needed to and I really don't want to, but I haven't needed to so far, so it's okay. Godot also has some great methods of extending the editor as well, and so you can run code inside the editor while you're making the game, so that's been really handy. You can do that in, in uh, Unity and Unreal Engine as well. Another thing that I like about Godot is that it actually has basically full support for the C-sharp programming language, so I'm using C-sharp. Uh, the reason I'm using C-sharp is just because I like that language. I actually learned a lot of programming on C-sharp, so I have a lot of nostalgia with the language, so I just kind of wanted to use C-sharp again. Um, I believe that um, um, Unity, you can also use C Sharp in Unity as well. So that would have been a pretty good choice too. But again, I just wanted something new. So far, my experience with the Godot engine has been pretty positive. I've actually really, really enjoyed it. I've come across a few things here and there where I'm like, oh my God, this engine is so weird and silly. How, you know, why, you know, I can't figure this out. Why, why would they do things this way? But the thing is, one thing I do know is that I have that feeling with every engine. And I think every programmer has that feeling with every engine. 
until you start to learn the engine, right? Every engine has its quirks. You just need to learn that and get accustomed to it. I don't think that's a sign of Godot not being a good or capable engine. I had the same experience with Unity and the same experience with Unreal Engine. You just got to learn the engine. And as I've been learning the engine, I've been getting much, much better and much more comfortable. And I, I, I feel more capable and more relaxed while I'm programming and working with the engine because I'm not running into as many roadblocks anymore. And that's a really, really good feeling. There is one potential downside with Godot, and that is that it cannot have, my understanding is it cannot have uh, like built in console support. And I would love to have my game go to console one day if I ever do finish my game. That's a bit of a dream. I, I'm a console gamer at heart. Uh, so that would be really, really cool. And I'm designing the game with controller support in mind from the get go. So it would be great to get there one day. Now Godot doesn't have um, that support out of the box, but it can be extended to have that support. However, extending it to have support for consoles might be beyond what I'm capable of doing or willing to do. But there are I know that there are options where you can partner with other people who can who specialize in that kind of thing and who actually do it with Godot as well. Um, so there are options to still get the game to run for console in the future. And there's a decent chance that even if I had gone with Unreal Engine or Unity, that I still would have wanted someone to do the console stuff anyway, even if the engine does have support for the consoles. Uh, for starters, I think you still need to partner with the console platform providers, so Sony, Nintendo, whatever, uh, get dev kits. You still need to like do all that stuff. You can't just do it right away. That's my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong. Beyond that, even if you get over that and even if you have that support, I know that there's like a certification process which can be quite painful and needs a fair amount of like specialization to get right uh, from what I understand as well, which again, I don't have that experience. So it could be that regardless of what engine I chose, I if I ever wanted the game to go to console, I would probably look into partnering with someone else to do that anyway potentially. The fact that Godot doesn't have the console support maybe doesn't change things too much apart from what my options are in terms of who I could partner with if I if it ever comes to that. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to answer those questions real quick. So I do have a video coming out on Monday, which is going to be some clips from stream the, my first stream using Godot. Uh, and I'll provide some extra context about you know what was happening here. If you would like to watch me work on my game live, you can always check out my Twitch streams, twitch.tv slash gemballs. Or if you can't be there, I stream usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 1 p.m. Sweden time. Um, if you can't be there for those times, um, there's also the VODs channel, and I'll put a link up here to the uh, game dev playlist of the VODs channel. So you can just, you know, watch all of the un unedited, raw, unfiltered content in, uh, when it comes to me working on my game, if that's what you wish to do. Okay. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for hanging out, everybody, and uh, take care. Bye.